Now this week, developers are learning all about the newest technology that Apple's created so they can create the apps that run on the Apple mobile devices and laptops. Last year, Apple paid them $60 billion in fees from sales on the App Store. ABC7 News reporter David Louie takes a look at what we might be seeing in the near future. Apple is best known for its tablets, laptops, and iPhones, but it's the 34 million developers who create the apps that make them so useful, productive, and entertaining. The thousands gathering at Apple headquarters need to get working quickly to exploit what Apple unveiled for them, including updated operating systems for its mobile devices and a new Mac operating system called Ventura. This paves the way for new features, such as the ability to customize the lock screen. So I'll add the temperature, uh, my activity rings, and let's drag in the calendar widget. It also will enhance security after conferring with groups that advocate for victims of domestic abuse to shield them from tracking. And the result of those conversations is Safety Check, a new section in settings where you can quickly review and reset the access you've granted others. Apple announces newest, most powerful chip, the M2, which will be used in a new ultra-slim MacBook Air and one of its MacBook Pro laptops. However, analysts say Apple appeared to be mindful of economic headwinds that could impact sales. I didn't see anything today that would overcome some of those rising tides around inflation, around energy prices, around other things, which obviously is a, is a, um, a significant deal. For example, it didn't mention plans for a mixed reality headset as other tech firms are developing them for the coming metaverse. Well, I think there's some concern within Apple about, uh, you know, do we have a, a, enough of a, pro, a value proposition to really make that, that product category mainstream. Apple usually targets fall to reveal its newest products for the holidays. In Silicon Valley, David Louie, ABC 7 News.